Hey, how's it going? So, Rango. <laughs> Directed uh, by Gore Verbinski. He's the guy who did those Pirates of Caribbean movies and was going to direct a Bioshock movie, but uh, so far that hasn't happened, sadly. But, Rango. Now, Rango is a weird movie, but it's in the greatest way possible. It reminds me a lot of... Aqua Teen Hunger Force and the way that they throw random things in that work with what they've already shown just to improve the joke and make it funnier. Like there's a mariachi band that they show every once in a while and they they kind of get into the swing of just randomness that is very funny. Now, uh, what I liked about this movie is that at least how it started is it begins in the middle of nowhere like it's just this little lizard who's having fun on his own and then all of a sudden he just gets left behind from his family who he didn't really get to know but that doesn't really matter and he just gets himself caught in the desert and he just doesn't know where he is and he finds this little town and the movie just you see it just sort of just really progressing like you really have no idea where this is going to go it's this kind of movie that's really unpredictable and you can't really tell where it's going to do so it's this it turns eventually into this western where he goes into this really gritty town you know filled with these really great characters and the animation phenomenal by the way and he finds out that the currency there is water because they're in a desert you know and they all need to get their water and after telling a couple lies about how he killed the man and this and that they say wow Rango's such a great guy and he is then eventually set off to find their water. Now, a really great thing about this movie is just the whole feel of it. It's just like you really have no idea where this movie's gonna go, and then it goes to these places, and it's it's definitely without a doubt a western, but it's a western like anything you've ever seen before. It really it opens up really strong and it closes with a really great bang. Um <clears throat> another probably one of the strongest things about Rango is it's really great animation like all the characters look really great they look like real animals which is really awesome like they they look like the classic cute animated character you've ever seen but they've had the crap beat out of them they're like if if uh bugs bunny had a drinking problem and then became an alcoholic and had some needed somewhere to go this is the town he would go to this is where the anime characters they just get dropped off the boat and they just go there to live the rest of their life in this little western town um, animation yeah it's great it's, flaw it's the best I've seen so far uh, it's really giving uh, Pixar a run for their money and the I gotta say it's just character design really really good uh, now my only little problem with the movie is Nearing the end, about three-fifths of the way through, it kind of, going with that unpredictability part of it, it kind of loses you, but at the same time it keeps you interested, but just because it's it's not supposed to be a Western, I guess, it's definitely a Western, but it, just how it can go anywhere, he just, like, drops off and he just leaves at one point, kind of deal, like, the story just departs, and you're like, wow, this is really strange, like, how is this going to go off from here? and it just continues and it's really trippy and it's really cool how they do it it's like there's no real rules to this movie it's just whatever works for it at the moment and it does it and it's just it's really great that this movie had just the balls to be as weird as it wanted and really kudos to Nickelodeon for really showing that they got some cajones left and that they're making these really great animated films that in my opinion are just some of these the, this is definitely the start of something great like, there's no doubt about that. This company who, I, they go by the name of Blind Wink. They have a really great opening. It's a hand, and then it closes uh, with an egg in it, and then it closes, and then it opens again, and it's a fried egg. It's really cool stuff. They're, they're definitely going to be someone to look out for as a company that's really up and rising. Now, just the whole setting of the movie, this, they're marketing it as a children's movie, but I honestly think that this is... If you've ever wanted to see like an animated movie taken seriously and made by adults for adults, 
this is that movie. They take all those, like, goofy animated characters, and they tell them, like, seriously, like, how they would really be. Like, I was saying, like, if Bugs Bunny had a drinking problem, this is really how his drinking problem would be. Like, this is how these characters would really be in the desert when they're pissed off and they want their water. Now, they're all really designed, like, kind of classic, you know? Like, with, like, ooh, there's a lizard, and there's that, you know? But they're just, they... They definitely took time and did a lot of research on these animals to make them look like they actually would, but they still have that little cartoony touch that makes it super awesome. Now, this, it's just these awesome characters thrown into the Wild West, and that's all you really need to know about this movie. Uh, this movie's great. Uh, there's nothing, there's no doubt about that. This is definitely something that you could see coming back for uh, an Oscar nomination for uh, Best Animated Picture. Pixar doesn't have really anything strong coming out this year. They only have Cars 2, so maybe this could be really the one to pull it off. I really hope it does. Um, this company, Blindwink, as I mentioned before, they're really great. I hope that they're able to come back and show some more strong films like this. And, again, Hans Zimmer coming in and just blowing your mind, you know? Not even with that deep music that everyone says that's the only thing he can do. This is him really showing his powers. Like, he really comes into this movie and really sets a great tone and god this is a great movie uh in closing this is the really fresh original animated film that everyone needed this is something that i loved and i kind of want to go see it again because i was really tired when i saw it and started falling asleep at certain parts but this is not something you want to miss uh this is you want to go check this out in theaters this is really good uh all the performances are great so hands down best animation to date uh this is a this is a milestone in animated films i'm gonna say because you you've never seen anything quite like this uh really loved it go see it I had to give it a number rating this is a 9 out of 10 movie don't miss this catch this one and by the way as usual click the button somewhere up there over there subscribe if you like and catch you next time